Have you ever felt that irresistible longing for something like it's just waiting to be yours? It's as if it's meant to be part of your story. Your intense desire is the initial spark in the manifestation journey. But remember, sheer longing isn't always sufficient to will it into your reality. In this video, you will discover exactly how to assume that your wish has been fulfilled, that's the key to manifestation. When you apply the law of assumption to your life goals, you're essentially pulling a mind trick, but in the best way possible. You start fooling your mind into believing that everything you want is already in your grasp. Instead of just talking about what you desire, you dive into the actual feeling of having those things. The law of assumption challenges you to experience the emotions of achieving something as if it's already done. So here's the deal for you. Set aside some time to feel and embody the emotions of your success. It's like practicing the art of radiating the energy of your achievements all around you. By immersing yourself in those successful emotions, you're paving the way to make that success a reality. It's not just wishful thinking. It's about becoming a living, breathing manifestation of your goals. So, let's dive in and explore how you can create that powerful assumption within yourself, ready to make it happen. Let's explore how you can turn that desire into a force that brings your dreams to life. The first step for you is to dive in, and you probably know me well enough by now whenever I'm stepping into an imaginal act or trying to conjure up that inner experience of having my desire, I close my eyes. You can call it imagination. I often refer to it as the inner world. Now, you're going to use your mind, your thoughts, and your feelings to immerse yourself in what it would feel like if you were the one already living your desire. Let's break it down with two examples, money and relationships. So, if you were manifesting money. So, here's what you do. Close your eyes, bring your awareness within, and start conjuring up that feeling. Let's take money as an example. Imagine right now what it would feel like to have $10,000 in your bank account. Don't get too caught up in the specifics. You can keep it general. Picture yourself with that amount in your account at this very moment. What does it feel like? Maybe it's an expansive, abundant feeling. There's a version of you that already possesses this desire. When you step into that version of yourself in your imagination, you'll notice a distinct feeling, especially if you're currently facing financial constraints. Transitioning to the imaginal space of having a substantial amount in your bank account can be liberating, expansive, and downright exciting. Now, here's the key. Capture that feeling. It's crucial. When you're in that imaginative state, you're embodying the version of yourself that already has what you desire. So, catch that feeling. It's like you're honing in on that bullseye, the ultimate result. There's this unique feeling tone, almost like a vibe, associated with your thoughts, but distinctly tied to having your desire. It's as if you're zeroing in on a target, and once you catch that feeling, it's fantastic. Let's say it's having 10 grand in your bank account, it feels expansive, open, and downright exciting. So, imagine catching that feeling. You've hit the bullseye. You've landed on the assumption that your wish fulfilled, living in the end. It's like tuning into a very specific frequency of having your desire. Now, the trick is to keep returning to that feeling, that inner experience, as much as you can. Why? Because the more you revisit it, the more it becomes a dominant state within you. You're evoking the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Let's dive into the relationship realm, whether it's with a specific person or someone new. Close your eyes and venture within. Imagine, what will it feel like if your person, your soulmate, the one you love most in the world, reciprocated that love wholeheartedly. Picture being loved and chosen, what does that feel like? Start conjuring up that inner experience. Feel the emotions of being chosen, wanted, happy, and expansive. You don't have to put it into words, but for the sake of this video, I'm sharing the process. There are distinct feeling tones to being in a relationship where you feel chosen, adored, and devoted to. It's a unique vibe, 
quite different from the single and unwanted feelings. So, what's it like for you? Imagine and feel those relationship vibes and let's make it a reality together. When you feel wanted, chosen and adored, it creates a distinctive vibe within you. How are you doing it? Maybe you're using your mind to conjure up images of your person. Picture them saying those words you long to hear, I love you, I want to be with you, there's no one else like you. Does that help evoke the inner experience? The thing is, this inner experience doesn't have to be overpowering. It just needs to transform you into a new person. You should feel like someone who already has your desire. Someone in that blissful relationship. Someone with the money in your bank. This, my friend, is how you assume that your wish has been fulfilled. How you confidently say, it is done. Capture that inner feeling of being the person in the relationship, of having the money. It's got a unique vibe, right? You start feeling a certain way. And your task is to keep going back to that inner state as much as possible. Practice it. Picture yourself in the relationship, feeling chosen, adored, loved, beautiful, and wanted. They want you to soak in that feeling. You don't have to overthink it. Keep it general. Let it be a sense of contentment, feeling good enough. What you're doing is shifting yourself away from those feelings of not being wanted, not being chosen, and loneliness. Instead, you're training yourself to believe, I am wanted, I am cherished, I am adored. Let your body radiate with excitement, as if you've just signed the papers for your dream home, received an offer for your ideal job, or met the love of your life. As you walk through the world, assume that everything is currently working out in your favor. You're not just faking it until you make it, you're weaving a potent tapestry of magic. Engage with this belief and let it infuse every step of your journey. You've got the power to shape your reality. The more you can feel these sensations deep in your gut, the more your beliefs will sink into every part of you. Through this practice of catching the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you're rewriting your story. It's all about shedding any limitations, doubts or pessimism. Give yourself full permission to let your imagination run wild. You're in the process of a powerful shift. You, my friend, are transforming who you are, redefining your self-identity, and reshaping how you feel both as an individual and as a partner. You're altering your essence, becoming someone who is loved, wanted, wealthy, healthy, whatever you desire. As you grow more and more comfortable with this new self-perception, where being loved and wanted is second nature, it starts to manifest externally. This is the core of manifesting, right here. Once you truly grasp this, it becomes second nature. Are you ready to make this transformation a seamless part of who you are? It's not just easy, it's downright fun. So for you, it's all about diving into your inner world and conjuring up that magical inner experience of having your desires. Remember, everything is within your reach. There's nothing off limits. It's a simple process, just requiring your focus and the ability to create that inner experience. As you become a master at this, the world is your playground. You can have anything you want. I appreciate you being here with me in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.